Hello everyone. Today we are talking about YouTube bulk uploader for the lazy. And I will say that this thing is both really good and kind of not good. It's got good points and bad points and I'm going to talk to you about it exactly. I've used I've used it now and I've up, up, uploaded probably 200 videos with it. And uh, by the way, please check out my channel, this channel and I am on Rumble as Ham Radio CQ. We are also uploading to YouTube and I'm doing these at the same time. So I'm doing YouTube and I'm doing Rumble at the same time and I'm using the same keywords and the same descriptions and the same thumbnails and all that stuff. Okay, right off the bat, you can't do thumbnails on, on this. So first of all, what you've got are tabs up here. And the first thing you have to do is set up a channel. You add the channel name and then ask you to log in and it kicks you off to the web website. Then you log in, you gotta kind of trust it with your username and password. So I've got Rumble Monkey right here, uh, both uh, YouTube and this is the YouTube channel. So, all right, so no social networks. I don't know what this is. Basically, I think it will post, it will post your video to Facebook. I can't stand Facebook though. Anyway, I don't use admin channel management. Tag manager is really, really cool. It, it allows you to define a tag name and a bunch of tags for that project. So I have some very common videos that I upload, which are time-lapse kid videos, family videos, and artistic. And I used to have more, but I be careful if you delete and reinstall, you will lose all of these. So you can use these to reuse them over and over and over. And I'll show you that here in a minute. So now we're gonna go, I, I haven't been able to get video database to work. First of all, you upload your video here and you kind of get the tags and everything ready. And let's do that, you drag and drop. I dragged this from my desktop and I dropped it right here. And I'm gonna get another video to show you Carly Ducks. And you drag it here. Now I've got two videos and you click on them like this and be sure to hit the save button when you change. Now one of the first annoyances I have is that it always includes this stupid link to Gink Ginkgo. And I'm like, I don't want that. I wish I could just get rid of it. So every single time I have to do a delete. Now what is cool is if you hit save, if you hit apply to all videos, every video, see how this has it here, this video and this one doesn't now. I hit save, now I hit apply to all videos, save. Now this, all the videos will have what I want. So every single time I have to delete that, it's pretty annoying. So let's fix the title, Carly Ducks video. Let's just do that for now. And then the description for, and if you hit set, you have to hit save before you go on. And then this is park video, hit save. Okay, so we've got two videos now. And every time you hit apply, every single, you have to be careful with this because if you have 50 videos, it will apply to all of them. So you will overwrite what you did and it will apply whether you like it or not. Okay, so, and the same thing with the tags. Now here is the coolest feature of this program and the reason I, one reason why I, I would give it a thumbs up and there's a lot of reasons not to give it a thumbs up, but what it does is it takes your video name and tries to put tags in here for you, which are almost always wrong. But remember when I had my tag manager, I had four of them, artistic family kid, if you right click here and you do say kid, it will automatically put those in there, which is so cool because I really get tired of doing tags and it's in, tags are important. You should put them on all your videos. So let's delete those and I'll show you the, the number one feature I think of this product is you can right click and you can do a keyword finder and you can type in here. It will bring, bring back some pretty good keywords. So let's try, let's try ducks in park and if you hit enter the some pretty good keywords come out of that and now some of them get pretty bad towards the end i would say the first 20 30 percent are pretty good so if i said ducks in the park so it's got ducks in park ducks in the park free meme pork that one wasn't very specific let's try so if i try buy beta fish now that's pretty good. See, it automatically gives you all those keywords. And I wouldn't don't jam I wouldn't jam a bunch of keywords in there that don't make sense like Malalayam and in India. I mean, if your video isn't about that, I don't recommend doing that. I would say just take take the ones that are relevant, go to the front of the keywords and then say kid buys fish 
my kid buys a fish, that kind of thing. Keep it relevant because I think YouTube is smart enough to figure out if you're lying and you don't want people coming here and getting the, something they don't expect. So I would say don't do that. Anyway, so I hit save. And if I want to change the description, again, I can apply this to all the videos if they're similar. So if I do that and I hit save, and you can do the same thing with the category, I'm always entertainment. So I hit save on that and apply. So this one got those same keywords, but I don't want that. So I'm going to come here and say, what is this video about? That's ducks. Um, let's say feed ducks. I'm going to do a keyword finder, feed ducks pond. Oh, it only has one. That's, that's weird. Feed ducks. Duck food. Let's do that. Let's just say duck food and then enter. Start over. Enter. And then we get all these keywords, which is a really nice feature. Okay. Now we've saved these. We're good. We've written, we've written a title description. There are no, there are no, uh, icons or thumbnails in this. You have to do that later. That's just a fact. So we're going to do, this is my video. And these tags right here will put in your, this will, in the brackets, it will put in whatever you have in the title, whatever you have here, it'll put in these tags. I kind of like to do that because I'm doing bulk uploads and I just rather just jam those in there. I'm not super serious about these, but let's hit save. Now, at this point, you have to hit uh, add to upload queue, and then these go in this queue, and then when you're ready, you hit process. And at that point, it takes a while, it's kind of slow, it will go into wherever you put it, YouTube, and it will be in there. Okay, now let's talk about some of the downsides. So oftentimes I wanna, I've, I have my keywords that I define for here, and I wanna copy those into Rumble because they're going to YouTube, but I wanna copy into Rumble. Now there's no way to get them back. They're in there and they're saved, and they'll go to YouTube when I hit process, they'll go there. But when you do that, you there's no way to go backwards. So now I've lost my keywords. And sometimes I've done that. I push them over here and I think, well, oh, darn it, I want my keywords. If you right click, up, click on it, you can reset, you can remove, but there's no way to go backwards. This is a pet peeve of mine because I want to I wanna like maybe go backwards and get my keywords or at least show them here so I can copy and paste them, but like right click. That could be done in the software, but they don't do it. Okay, and now the next thing is the biggest problem with this software and, it's, and it has to do with Google. The first day I got this software, I was uploading tons and tons of videos and all of a sudden I started getting an error and watch this. If I hit, I'm going to go ahead and hit upload. I probably get an error already. And for whatever reason, YouTube throttles the API that this uses to push videos up. And it's almost a deal killer because if this is going to error and it, in the, it aired after about 40 videos and now it errors like every other video. I don't know. There's like a time limit. You have to wait a day or two and it, it you just won't upload. So this thing being $24 is really cool, but YouTube throttles your ability to upload videos at a certain point. So what I do is I upload to both here and to rumble at the same time. And I copy and paste my description, my title and my tags. And then here's all my channels on Rumble that I can pick, which is so cool that you can do this. I wish YouTube had this because sometimes I just don't want to have to have multiple channels. I want to put it on Storm Chaser or product reviews or family fun. That's so cool about Rumble. It's so easy to use because all you do is drag here, drag here, sign an agreement and hit upload. It's much faster than YouTube. Anyway, I do these at the same time that way. I can get a video on both Rumble and on YouTube at the same time, and I'm doubling my efforts. So this is taking a while. You can kind of see how long it takes. So I have fiber internet, so I have pretty amazingly fast internet here. And this uploaded, and you see completed there. And if you go to YouTube and you hit refresh on your video channel videos, you will see it. And it's actually a duplicate. And I uploaded the curly ducks, so I'm going to delete this. But there it is already, and it's it takes a little while to. And here's once that happens, I, here's where I'll drag in my thumbnail, and then I'll go down here and put it copy and paste. Well, it, I don't have to. It already put these are all the keywords that went straight to YouTube. 
I would copy and paste those into Rumble's tags right here, see? So that's how it gets up to YouTube. And that's everything. The problem is well, I'm, I'm hoping this fails because so I can show you what it's like, but you'll just get an error here and it'll say API limit exceeded or something. And I don't know what that is, but it's almost a deal killer. The cool thing about this is that you don't have to sit here and wait like we just did. If you have 50 videos, you can hit go, but we got to find a way to get past that API limit. All right, guys, thanks. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff.